Hey guys, I'm Daisho, and welcome to game two of the match versus uh, green red aggro were were werewolves. And I am playing blue green spider spawning, just no spider spawnings. <laughs> and I'll lead this game off turn two with a mulch. Um, so that's usually a pretty good start. Get lands in my hand basically for the rest of the game, or just completely whiff on the mulch. <laughs> and uh, I'm past turn at least. I mean, the thing about mulch is. It's it's only half in there to get the lands. The other half is just to get stuff in the graveyard that you can use later. And um, for for instance, right here, I get my Stitch Strike out turn three, which is kind of awesome. So I was upset that I missed out on the mulch, but um, it wasn't the end of the world. And then he plays uh, Daybreak Ranger here, so a little bit better of a three drop. Plus he didn't have to exile anything. He didn't have to use his two drop to set it up. So that was pretty good for him. But anyway, I'm gonna follow it up with Elder of Laurels. Um, another amazing card to play, and obviously swing on in there for three. Another amazing card for this deck. I have a whole bunch of creatures, and it's just really, really good in this deck. Um, but I think that uh, this is one of those times where my opponent is thinking for, for a little bit uh, of a time. But anyway, that you're going to see a little bit later on how much that mulch hurt early on, and then another really funny thing happens. But basically, let's let's just describe the board position here while my opponent is thinking. So he's got this Daybreak Ranger, and he's got a, probably a lot of creatures in hand that he wants to play. He doesn't have any removal spells. He barely had any in the deck. He's got four lands, so... Uh, I know he's got a Kessigrekulus later, I'm not sure if he has it right now, but um, either way, I ha on my side I have the Stitch Rake, which is a 3-4, which puts him on a 6 turn clock, even less since I've got Elder of Laurels out there, so um, if I get a couple more creatures out I can start pumping um, for more, more and more significant amounts of damage, because Elder of Laurels activated ability is 3 and a green to give target creature you control plus x plus x where x is the amount of creatures you have on the battlefield so i already have two so right now i can basically swing in for five with my stitch drake if i want to and uh you'll see like two damage can actually really make the difference but um anyway he doesn't really have much of a choice he wants to he probably wants to play his kessig recluse but he um he also has a couple of pump spells and or he's got a <laughs> I guess it just ruined something but anyway um, he's got a couple of cards in hand, and he decides that he's just going to pass a turn, and he basically uh, just devised the scheme that he was going to have. So right now, you guys are like, yeah, whatever. It doesn't really matter that he missed Mulch uh, because I still have, um, I still have all these these cards. But basically, I Silent Departure his Nightfall Predator because I want to uh, make sure it flips, and um, he decides that he is going to first fight my Elder of Laurels, and then I decide to immediately decide to pump my Elder of Laurels, and then he just Hunger the Howl packs it, so his creature doesn't die. And um, and he and he still gets it back to hand. So in retrospect, I think the play there was um, just accept that Elder of Laurels was going to die, and just pump my Stitch Drake so I can get in for a couple extra damage. But anyway, my opponent doesn't play out his Daybreak Ranger like I expected him to. The next turn, he gets his Kessig Recluse on the battlefield, and that's pretty good for him. Um, luckily for me, I think I have. Um, a pretty good play here. I'm not sure. Maybe it's next turn. Oh, I, I mulch again because right here. Um, yeah. Okay. So I have. I wanted to get a, a forest. I think in that mulch. I didn't get anything again. So I, I whiffed on two mulches already. Um, I really wanted to get a forest in there because I wanted to get my dawn treader elk on the battlefield, but um, unfortunately I didn't. I whiffed on the mulch again and then wasn't able to. But I just silent departured his. Uh, it's Kessig Recluse, and um, let's let's go back to that clock thing. If I had used my Elder of Laurels to pump my Stitch Drake, it would now be a he would now be at not at nine, and he would be on a three turn clock, which is fine because um, I have two Silent Departures in Grave, so I could basically um, just well actually it, it doesn't I would I would need to draw something before I, before I'm able to do that. But um, anyway, I play my Dawn Treader Elk this turn, and um, Actually, I think I think the main reason why um, why the silent departure was really really I mean why the mulch was really really bad is not because I wanted to get a forest, rather because I wanted to get any land. That way I could just play land for a turn and then uh, and then just use and then just cackle and counterpart my stitch drake, and then I would have been absolutely fine because uh, I would have had two stitch drakes and then the ne and then I would be able to sw um, swing in. and then the next turn I'll be able to swing in for six and then probably the next turn I'll be able to win. But anyway. He played, um, he, I didn't use Silent Departure last turn? No, I guess not. I guess I just passed my turn. Um, and he then turns around and plays two creatures, Riot Devils and, uh, that. So that, and then I get my Cackling Counterpart out. So now I'm thinking that I'm pretty good, because, um, he, he's at 11, 
and um, obviously I'm just gonna flash back my silent departure because I still haven't been drawing lands, um, and then just swing in, swing on in there for six, take him down to five life, would be three. And uh, here comes the really big significance of that earlier mistake, because if he, I mean, he's got his Daybreak Ranger out, and he's got a Kessig Recluse in hand, and assuming he doesn't have removal, because uh, Rack with Madness can't even kill my Stitch Drake, and he doesn't have, I don't think he has any uh, other ways to remove it. So, assuming that he has none of that, no Spidery Grasp, he's got two options here. He can either play out the Kessig Recluse, and then... Um, and then I can swing in, lose one of my Stitch Drakes, kill a Kessig Recluse, and then get him for three, take him down to two, which would have been lethal. Or he could just do what he decided to do, which is flip his Daybreak Ranger, and then uh, now I am in a little bit of trouble, because I can swing in here, and I'm going to, because I, th I think I'm okay, because he, he hasn't really played out much, so I don't, and I don't really understand the significance of the fact that he has so many cards in hand. Um, anyway, I play myself a Cultist. And then I decide to swing in with both my guys. Obviously, he's just going to um, use his Daybreak Ranger to kill my Stitch Drake. Um, he's just deciding which Stitch Drake he wants to kill, whether he wants to kill the token or the actual one. And then he's going to go down to two life. So <clears throat> right here, I would have won the game had I just pumped my Stitch Drake instead of my Elder of Laurels. Obviously, there are other things he could have done, and he probably would have uh, played it a little bit differently to make sure that he wouldn't lose. But I, I'm not, I'm not even sure. Depending on what cards he had in hand and what cards he had access to, I don't know if there was really anything he could have done there. But right now I'm out of cards in hand, and his Daybreak Ranger is on the other side. So that means that it's uh, lights out for my other Stitch Drake also, which is just bad news for me because I don't have too many flyers to uh, just get in, and he's he's about to amass a mighty board position here because he's going to be able to play the Kessig Recluse, and um, he's just he's really just set. That's that's really all he needed to do to get going. So this game could have been over had I not made that mistake early on. Um, so basically the situation was he had a Daybreak Ranger and I was departing it and then I had my 2-3. So I figured, all right, I'll make it a 4-5. Maybe he's just trying to see if he could, he, if he could uh, get through or maybe he just wanted to wait, make me waste my Elder of Laurel's pump for that turn or something like that. But that really doesn't make much sense. Um, I mean, I guess fighting something on the way out does make sense but the thing is he thought he he had a turn in advance to think about it so he decided that he wanted to flip his daybreak ranger and not play a spell he obviously would have played a spell um, had he not had a pump spell uh, because he would he had so many cards in hand and he would have realized that cuz everything all my tricks were on the board as uh, but his tricks were in his hand so i definitely could have predicted that and uh, that was that was bad but he plays a couple of spells flips his daybreak ranger but he doesn't mind too much because he's got a stitch drake and um also another interesting thing to note is last turn i was at land drop 6 so uh had i uh, had hit a couple of um lands earlier in my mulches then I would have been able to have hit land drop seven, cackling counterpart my um, my stitch drake again, and then and then win the game. So when I was playing this game, I really thought that the game would be over right away. I didn't think that daybreak ranger was going to be enough, but uh, I, I did not count on him being able to stabilize like he did, and I am in some trouble here. <laughs> so obviously I'm not I'm not in I'm nowhere near being in a good position. So. Um, other than the Elder of Laurels thing, I don't really think that I played this game too terribly at, up, up until this point, but um, right now I have most of my deck, not most of my deck, but probably about three, yeah, alright, so most of my deck is on the table or in my graveyard, and there's just about a third to a quarter of it left in my library. And there are still two cards that I'm actually thinking could win me the game here. If I get my Scab Goliath out, then I can Cackle and Counterpart it, and then I'll have two six nines. That in addition to all my creatures on the field, I think if I were to be able to swing in with all of them, I would probably be able to swing in for lethal or at least decimate his side to the point where I would be able to do that the next turn. Then the other card that I could draw is Hell Vault because uh, I could basically first exile his Daybreak Ranger and then I can just exile creatures one at a time. Um, and then if I start drawing creatures and he stops drawing creatures, then I would actually be able to win the game. So those, these are the two cards that I'm looking for at this point in the game. And sorry, sorry again about the about the thinking. At least, um, at least I'm talking during during the during the pauses. I definitely could have edited this out, and probably probably would have been a better idea. But I just figured that I, I mean, there's so it's such an interesting game, and there's so much that I have to talk about. Anyway, he plays out Ulvenwald Mystics, which is another very very powerful creature. Um, you guys just keep seeing more and more powerful cards in his deck. 
and uh, I just draw the land. I decide to play it, obviously, because now I can have Cackling Counterpart mana open, but the main issue is there's not really much to Counterpart here. So um, one problem that I do have is if I don't play a spell, then his Daybreak Rancher is going to flip, and then he's just going to start picking my guys off one by one. So I think I end up um, using a Silent Departure, which is unfortunate because I really didn't want to have to waste another one of these Silent Departures. Like... Even even after he got his Daybreak Ranger out, I was still thinking, all right, well, I've got three creatures, so if he doesn't play one, then maybe if I draw Silent Departure, then I can Silent Departure his guy, and then uh, Silent Departure another one, and then swing in for lethal. But um, anyway, I decided to Silent Departure his, his uh, Daybreak Ranger here. I guess it didn't really matter who I Silent Departure, I just needed to play a spell. Um, and... I guess may as well target the person who I wanted. But anyway, I cut out some thinking there because not really much happened. He didn't do anything. I mean, I didn't do anything for the rest of my turn, and all he did was think. And then um, fast forward another significant amount of time, and he just plays out a Rage Thrower and a Pitchburn Devils. I think he played the turn before. So now this board and my board position hasn't grown because I'm finding all the lands now that I missed with the Mulches earlier. So that's, that's fair, right? <laughs> Um, but either way, yeah, those mulches were definitely pretty critical earlier on. I would have been able to Cackling Counterpart a turn earlier. I would have been able to Cackling Counterpart again. I would be able to Cackling Counterpart my Sister Drake again. But anyway, he's, he's got his flipped werewolves, and he's got a Gastaff Howler and a Pitchburn Devils. I can't even um, double block and kill one of them because he's got his uh, Nightfall Predator out there. So I just decided to block the Gastaff Howler with my... Dawn Treader Elk, and I'm just going to sack it for land just so that I can actually um, thin my deck out a little bit. Um, it's not really too important for me to not be taking six damage here. I guess, I mean, I guess it's a little bit important, but I, I, end up, I still end up taking two from it because my um, Dawn Treader Elk died, so that's a little bit unfortunate. So I take two right away, and then the top card of my library is, uh, is a Hell Vault, so I'm a little bit upset that that ended up happening. And he points out that I probably should have um, used Salva Cultist ability, so I just mill him instead, um, which I guess was fortunate that I didn't um, actually play that correctly and then mill myself, although I probably wouldn't have milled myself at this point. Um, but just just because it's it's I'm getting low on cards in my library. But anyway, um, this card isn't Hell Vault either. And uh, I mean, I actually played this game out a little bit longer and probably a little bit longer than I should have. So um, I'm just going to cut it off here. But basically, he just mounts a comeback. And I mean, obviously, you guys can, um, can see what the board position was at that time. And it doesn't really change much. He just plays more creatures. I just play a lot more of nothing. And he just picks off my guys one by one with his Daybreak Ranger. And uh, there's really not much I can do about it. All I needed to do, I mean, I needed to do was... Uh, draw the scab goliath or the hell vault that would have helped or the mulch is missing or that um the tricky play with the elder of laurels and i maybe could have won the game but either way congratulations to my opponent he ended up winning that game and the match and uh yeah hope you guys enjoyed that video have a nice day bye